piece of news that uh, Andre Kapathi has done a long interview, and it's on the internet now. And as usual, he is a very insightful person in the space of AI. And he was the person that invented vibe coding and a lot of things. Have you watched it? And have you any thoughts on this, Luke? Uh, I have. Obviously, he he knows his stuff. And the the main point that I think he kind of tries to get across is uh, most people expect the world of of these AI revolutions that we're we're seeing. And you know, and, and unfortunately, when you look under the covers, there is no magic there. There there is no real intelligence there. And it's it kind of really depends on from from what angle you you kind of uh, immerse yourself in the the AI revolution. So I think a lot of people. Um, maybe sort of not technologically strong people just hear the hype and expect that they're going to be able to go to this this new AI tool and it's going to be able to cook them dinner and it's going to be able to clean their houses, it's going to be able to tell them whether they've got a brain tumor. And those people become very, very disappointed when it's not able to provide those answers. Uh, but on the flip side, uh, you know, there's another group of people that approach AI, I would say very pessimistically uh, or at least skeptically. And it's one of those things where they will just try to get it to do a little bit and that little bit will succeed. Um, but, you know, they, they are very conscious of the fact that it's only doing that little bit of work uh, because they have instructed this thing exactly what it needs to do. And, and it's not trying to bite off more than it can chew. Uh, and yeah. I find that a lot with our developers as well. They will, they will use it um, programmatically to do very, very small incremental pieces of work, but they'll do it. Um, in parallel with many, many agents, and they will get you know many of these things to perform small tasks, small independent tasks in parallel, but never kind of just relying on the system to go and bake the entire cake for them. The current LLM structure is not this overarching uh, omnipresent intelligence that will take over AGI. Um, and and it's interesting that both Karpathy and Yon Lacoon are very much a, um, students of the way human beings think, because obviously the neural networks is how they've tried to, to shape LLMs, and there's still some big shortcomings in the um, LLM. So AGI is probably still a little while away. They're ten years supposedly. I wouldn't be surprised if it's ten years away for the next ten years as well. Yes. Uh, you know these models just can't learn in the same way human beings can and and they kind of implode upon themselves and um you know there's a lot of a lot of conversation around that uh and that's kind of one of the big one of the the big limitations of of the tools we've got right now so i think that's why yeah 10 years even that's probably still a little bit optimistic but you can still do a lot with what we've got right now need help with ai solutions click on the channel link and follow the link tree